Now let's talk about research. A cure and vaccine still look distant, but scientists are working overtime to better understand this deadly virus that has wreaked havoc across the world. Four new studies have surfaced now. A range of critical questions have been answered. We must summarize all the findings, and we're doing that in this report. Take a look. Thailand has reported the first case of COVID-19 transmission from a dead patient to a health worker. The medical examiner died after catching the infection from a dead body. This raises concerns over the risk faced by those working in morgues and funeral homes. Published in the Journal of Forensic and Legal Medicine and Viraj Vivanitkit of China's Henan Medical University. The report says infection control and universal precautions are necessary and that forensic professionals have to wear protective devices including a protective suit, gloves, goggles, cap and a mask. Disinfection procedures used in operation rooms might be applied in pathology and forensic units as well. It is still not known how long the virus survives in a dead body. Heat does not kill or deactivate the coronavirus. Several theories to this effect were circulated earlier, giving rise to optimism that the warmer summer months might bring some respite. But a French research paper now reports that the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 can survive long exposure to high temperatures. Professor Remy Charal and colleagues from South France's AIX Marseille University found that after the novel coronavirus was heated to 60 degrees Celsius for an entire hour, it still had some surviving strains that can replicate afterward. A Chinese study has found that the direction of air conditioning is a key factor for droplet transmission. The research was led by Jian Yun Lu of the Guangzhou Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It studied 10 coronavirus cases from three families who dined at the same restaurant in southern China. Suggesting that the direction of airflow from air conditioning ventilation helped droplet transmission between them. The study advises restaurants to increase the space between the tables and improve ventilation to reduce the risk of infection. Over half of humanity is locked down. Governments in many parts of the world are extending restrictions. How long will this last? turns out one-time lockdowns might not be enough to clamp down on the coronavirus. In fact, scientists at the Harvard University say repeated periods of social distancing might be required till 2022. The study published in the journal Science assumes that COVID-19 will become seasonal.